SMT Nation, we back. Nation, an interesting read from Mike Dano. And this is lightreading.com. I'll be sure to link this for you in the description. AT&T claims that they are the public safety first responder leader. And Verizon is calling cap. They are calling AT&T liars. All right, let's see how this is all framed up. And let's see if we can make sense of this. Article will be linked in the description. Also in the description is the real SMT Buy Me a Coffee link. If you want to support your creators, that's one way you could do it. Also, if you're looking for a great deal on wireless service, there's some new value added to these plans here for Mint Mobile. That's our partner. They've gone ahead and boosted all the data allotments without changing pricing. You guys check them out. The partner link will be in the description. Get a great deal on wireless service, and you'll be helping out the channel in the process. All right, so who's telling the truth? AT&T or Verizon? Who's got the lead in public safety lines and accounts? All right, so AT&T says it's them. Verizon says, no, it's us. All right, let's take a look at some of the deets. All right, according to AT&T, they are claiming that they are now the clear leader in the public safety wirelesses, wireless services segment. All right, Verizon isn't buying it. They're basically saying, not according to our statistics, we see it differently. And that's coming from Maggie Halbach, the president of Verizon's frontline business. All right, so Verizon internally does track all their connections. And they also have intelligence and data internally about their competitors, specifically AT&T with FirstNet. But AT&T is going to stick to their guns. Uh, first responders, police, firefighters, uh, you know, medics, medical care professionals, they've been moving to AT&T through the FirstNet uh, initiative. And, you know, the, it's we've been monitoring this very closely. I remember covering this story, I think, probably about six months ago. I predicted that during Q2 of 2023 that we we're going to see a transition from Verizon being the first responder network and having most of those accounts and lines to AT&T. It was just a matter of time because these agencies actually are like they're supposed to be on FirstNet. Like that's their network. It was designed the 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 contract was built, assembled and the agreement was for them. Uh there are still some people holding out. Not all first responders are on the FirstNet AT&T network, they stay on Verizon. It might be coverage related, it might be reliability related, they still trust Verizon, whatever. But the band 14 700 megahertz network asset was awarded to uh, AT&T to build out and upgrade that network specifically for first responders. All right, now here's what the problem appears to be. The way that AT&T and Verizon classify primary and then also secondary connections all right so obviously primary first responders are the police firefighters medics those individuals their lines and the lines that they have that are not just their personal lines but also the lines that they have with their agencies all right so how are they counting that that could be part of the issue and why there's no agreement then you have your things like the iot devices your hotspots machine to machine connected devices those things come into play. So I'm not sure how this is calculated. I think that's where the trouble is. Verizon is looking at primary connections, probably. AT&T is counting primary connections and then also the secondary connections. Verizon reports 5.1 million public safety connections across 30,000 public safety agencies. I think AT&T comes in around like 22 to 26,000 agencies. And I think in terms of, you know, like, lines and connections i think they're close to five million if not they've already passed it so i'm not sure so how you set the definition as primary and secondary is probably where this little disconnect is because if FirstNet has 4.4 million connections and 25,000 agencies that does indeed put verizon ahead of them but i will tell you this folks at&t will pass verizon on first responder connections that will happen if it hasn't happened already, it's going to happen very soon. And the reason for that is because the first net was designed for first responders. This is what this program is for. Uh, so depending how you count it, it might be AT&T, it might be Verizon. It's just a matter of time. It's a foregone conclusion. It will be AT&T. It will be first net that does end up with the most public safety connections, firefighters, first responders, medics, doctors, 
you know, all of that. It, and of course, their secondary lines through their accounts and all that. It's just going to add up very quickly. All right. So if it hasn't happened yet, it's going to probably happen next quarter. No later than this year, you will see that transition. This is what it was designed for. And, and it's no Spurgis on Verizon. They've got a tremendous, incredibly sized network. They've been the first responder network forever. They still are an option out there. But uh, this is what FirstNet was for. What do you guys think of this? Who do you think is right? Uh, and, and why do you think they're right? Let me know in the comments section. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard.